Hi guys, my name is Fahd Daud. Welcome back. I want to share something unique that I've learned recently uh, and it's applicable to all kinds of real estate that's being bought, whether it's residential or commercial, by investors at every stage. What do I mean by that? Some investors are buying one apartment or a villa or a townhouse for their own end use. That means that they want to live in it. Some investors are buying it to rent it out, to get rental income. And then there is on that spectrum, people who are buying extremely large assets, so to speak, uh, closer to the 100 million uh, dirham or 100 million dollar mark. So this rule applies across the board. There is no substitute to quality. And what do I mean by when I say there's no substitute to quality? I've got another video also here if you want to search. It's called uh, Buying Quality is Cheaper in Dubai. Number one thing, you got to recognize that Dubai is a maturing market, okay? The Dubai rental income, as the market has been maturing over the last 15 years, has been coming down in terms of percentage returns. So whereas 2005, 6, you might be getting 10% net rental income returned into your pocket. Now it's more around the four to six to four to seven, uh, sometimes 8% range. Because as the markets mature, rental incomes come down. However, quality never goes out of fashion. And why is buying quality cheaper in the long term? Number one, as the market matures, the developers or the builders that have delivered a streamless a problemless process of from purchase to delivery they have really started to stand out and if you purchase an apartment with one of them or a townhouse or a villa your entire process is streamlined you get no surprises at any stage and at the end of the day when you get your uh, property it's of very good high quality for me that's peace of mind right from the day that you put the reservation deposit all the way to the end when you actually receive your property and this is what i talk about when a developer is focused on delivering quality they make sure that the entire process is driven uh, with quality in mind and with customer service in mind now there's something else that i wanted to also share with you that i've discovered and you know it's th the truth be known us agents slash investors are always learning from our investors and from the processes of the deals that we are involved in. The trick is to take that learning and apply it to the next person's uh, deal who we're helping so that they can get a good bargain and a good deal as well from all the learning that we have. Here's, a, here's a something very important that you need to know. So recently I've been helping an investor um, sell and acquire a large asset. So let's say it's over the or it's in the 70 million dirham to 100 million dirham range that's roughly about 30 million dollars plus the kind of questions that i've been getting from this investor are uniquely different than what i get from the investor who's looking to buy one apartment this investor is concerned about the long-term viability of the asset that they're built by they're buying a building right so they are concerned about what are the maintenance costs uh, in the long term and we'd like to know who are the company appointed and how are they going to be keeping the costs down. They want to know what elevator brand has been used and from which country, what kind of electrical lights have been used and what kind of sensors have been used. They want to know what kind of furniture or cabinetry in the kitchen has been used, where is it from. They're going into such minute details that it sometimes baffles me that what does it matter what kind of cabinetry is being used but when i think about it it's actually very critical why because the quality of the build or the quality that the contractors put into the building today is what's going to make the building last longer less repairs less expenses for maintenance which means at the end of the day it's better and more money in the investors pocket and this is something that the small investor sometimes i don't want to call them small but the investor who's buying one unit does not really pay attention to what do i mean by that have you ever thought about what's the elevator what are the elevators being used what kind of electrical sensors what kind of lights have been used are they energy efficient you don't most of the time but if you do you will walk away with a better bargain with better quality that is put in the building because i'll be honest truth be told 
any developer for the first year can make the building look really smart, shiny and neat and clean. It's only in year two, three, four and five or so forth when the building actually shows its true face. When the makeup's kind of worn out, people are going in and out, the elevator buttons are being pressed on a regular basis by the kind of configuration that you have in the building. Like, I would even say, you know, you have to recognize that if a building has a lot of studios, you should know that there's going to be a lot of usage on the elevators. So elevators that need servicing, full rehauling, for instance, every 10 years, these elevators are going to need full rehauling every seven years because the amount of usage gets increased. So I think as an investor, you should be smart about this or use somebody smart shouldn't just be looking at the numbers you should be getting deeper into the game to understand you that what kind of quality are you buying that way you get a better deal and you make more okay guys so thanks for watching my name again is Fahad Daud I've been doing this for 14 plus years I started in 2006 in Toronto Canada and since 2007 I've been doing this in Dubai I generally talk about real estate your life my life and our path to allowing financial bliss coming to us if you want to work with me, such as buy a property in Dubai or you need general advice, you can hit me up on the con in the contact form below. If you've liked this video, I'd appreciate if you subscribe, press the bell icon and hit the like button and share it with other friends. Ciao for now.